Hey, it's Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Uh, I made a video about my pigs and them being equipment, lower livestock, that served me very, very well. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's actually the same day. And uh, I was around my, my pickup truck. And actually today I've used it quite a bit. And I just pulled it in to the shop here and I'm putting the plow on it. And I just thought how neat this is. It's a very simple plow. I think it was made in 1970. The truck's the 74 F250. Uh, it's been refitted with a 390 engine. These ones came with a, a 360, which was a kind of a small block deal. It's a Ranger, so this is four wheel drive and it sits a little bit higher. Um, the, the back of it rotted off so we put a flatbed on it I think people have seen this truck around it's on its third paint job and the way we paint stuff around here is uh, we buy the Ford industrial grade paint and I have actually painted this truck with a roller but the idea is to get paint on it so the the road salts and stuff stays off of it so what I do is I just power wash it real good and then go through and paint it. The last time I painted, I paint, I did paint it with a spray gun and we taped it off and everything. Tried to do a really nice job and it turned out pretty good. It's a good looking truck. But it doesn't owe me anything, I'll tell you that. I've owned it almost, I think 20 years coming up. Yeah, this year it's 20 years I've owned it. I bought it in 97, I think. And I got it from the second owner out in Montana. <clears throat> But this plow and hitch, uh, I built the hitch for this. And to put this plow on, all I do is pull in with the truck into the shop and the plow sitting there. And I pull in until I think I'm right where I want to be. I hook this chain on. And this chain is attached to this arm. This hydraulic pressure goes into this cylinder right here and it lifts this up lifts this this arm up and that lifts the blade off the ground so all I do is hook that on there pick it up a little bit and then there's two pins like this that I have to put in and cotter pins but it takes me five minutes to hook up so like if I got to run to town or something I'll just drop the plow off because it's you know it's five or seven hundred pounds that I'm hauling down the road that's tough on the front end and stuff so I do drop it off but um, there's been a little bit of chat about you know my equipment and here's my philosophy on it if it works then it's good equipment if it doesn't work then it's bad equipment this truck I've had it for 20 years <laughs> It was built in 1974. I got it from the second owner and he had it for a long time. It's got, I don't know how many miles on it. That's, it's hard to tell. It may have turned over once, I really don't know. Um, but it's saying that it's got 125,000 on it right now. Of course, we don't drive it on long road trips or anything, so that may be it. But it's four wheel drive and it will go anywhere. Um, if I wanted to replace this with a truck that was less than five years old, I'm looking at probably $25,000, and I paid $2,500 for this truck. And I've probably put four times that into it, you know, in clutches and things like that. But still, I don't make a payment on this every month. All I do is a little bit of insurance. The insurance company doesn't care about old stuff like this. It's like an old man truck. <clears throat> it's not a race truck. And gas and oil, that's it, and a, and a few repairs. But I repair it so infrequently, I was thinking the last time I put anything big into it, I uh, put an exhaust system on it. And uh, that was a little bit, but I changed from the exhaust that I had that was on it when I got it, that finally gave out. The, the guy that had it had headers on it and then dual exhaust and so it was loud and it was cool I guess but 
and he was a real cool guy. But uh, I didn't need it quite that cool at age 56. So I just went back to the stock, and that was actually more expensive than putting on a custom because the truck's old. And it cost me, you know, 350 bucks for the exhaust system. But that's with, that's with everything. Um, before that, I put a starter motor in it. It was 28 bucks. And when I bought that starter motor, I bought two of them because I thought maybe they won't always be this cheap. That was 10 years ago. And I haven't replaced it since. So um, it's a really good truck. And uh, now my son has turned on to it and he's bought himself one and restored it to the point where you could take it to California if you felt like it. I mean, it would make it there, you know. Um, they're not the most economical, but for what we use it for, it doesn't really matter. I probably go at, go through a tank full of gas on this thing a month. You know, we just don't. You know, if we got to run to town for nails or something, I wouldn't take this unless I want it to look cool. So that's it. I thought I would tell you about my truck. It's essential to have a good truck if you're in the farming business. And, um, you know, we do all kinds of things with it. Plowing snow is just one of the things, but uh, it's one of my favorite things to do with it. It's Mark Baker's Green Acres. Anyone can farm.